What is up, awesome people? And welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Stadium Gym Leader Castle Metronome Battles. Alright, so in the last episode we battled Brock and unfortunately fell victim to self-destruct and we lost the battle last time. So, since it's been a while since I've last uploaded a metronome battle for Pokemon Stadium, I'll quickly revise the rules. Basically, I'm going through the Gym Leader Castle, maybe free battles as well, and maybe doing Pokemon Stadium with a whole bunch of Pokemon that only know metronome. So, what I've done, I've taught every Pokemon in the game, so all 151 Pokemon, metronome. And that's the only moves, and that's all I'm going to be using to take on... Uh, the Gym Leader Castle, and like I said, I may do free battles, and I may take on Pokemon Stadium later on as well. So, all my Pokemon are entering at level 100 as well, and that's basically the rules that I'm playing by, as well as normal rules that you play by for Gym Leader Castle, etc, etc. Alright, so that's basically all I have to explain, so let's get into it. So, like I said, we're going to be starting at the beginning of Gym Leader Castle. We'll take on Pewter Gym Leader Brock. So, we've got Trainer Bug Boy, Trainer Lad, Junior, uh, junior Trainer Male, and of course, Pewter Gym Leader Brock as our four trainers for the first Gym Leader. Alright, so before I started recording, I went through and registered a whole bunch of teams in my um, registry here for Pokemon. So, it saves me going through and choosing them uh, during the recording. Although I will show you the stats and all that beforehand. So this is the team I'm going to be using for this episode. It contains Hypno, Nidorino, Parasect, Kabutop, Slowbro and Seal, which is quite an interesting team overall. So we got first we've got Hypno. Uh, obviously as it's more of a bulky Pokemon, one of the more bulkier psychic types. Uh, Overall, it might be pretty handy for the first gym leader here, seeing as how Brock does use a lot of rock types. Hypno may be able to bulk out a lot of it, seeing as how it nearly has 400 health and quite average defense as well. Next we've got Nidorino. Uh, actually, this is quite interesting because Nidorino is quite good physically and specially, so doesn't matter what move I score uh, with Metronome, Nidorino should be able to land quite a lot of damage regardless. Next we've got Parasect, which is Bug Grass. Parasect might be interesting before we get to Brock, if I get the right moves, of course. Can't really say much about Parasect otherwise. We've got Cover Tops as well, which is quite speedy. Um, it's got a lot of attack. We've got some nice special as well, with some decent health as well, so it should be able to help me out quite a fair bit. Plus it's Rock and Water. Won't probably do that much against Brock, but we'll see how we go there. Next we've got another bulky Pokemon, Slowbro, it has a lot of defense, does have some nice special, and does have nearly 400 health as well, so I'll be using Slowbro to basically tank a lot of Brock's Pokemon if we get that far, of course. And finally we've got Seal, so Seal being NFE, its stats exact, uh, aren't exactly that special, but it does have a lot of special attack and special defense, so that might help out quite decently as well. So overall we've got one Psychic type, we've got one Poison type, we've got one Bug Grass, uh, one Water type, and Water Psychic, which is Slowbro, and finally we've got Rock and Water, so three Water types overall, so kind of looks quite nice for Brock, of course, but given, of course, it all comes down to Metronome, so if I score the right moves, this might quite be an easy battle, but we'll see how we go. So let's start this battle. So up first we've got Trainer 1, Bug Boy, who's going to lead with, well, start with a whole bunch of bug types. So his team consists of Caterpie, Weedle, Metapod, Kakuna, Beedrill, and Butterfree. Alright, so for this one I'm going to basically lead with my Seal as an NFE, just to, you know, balance it out a little bit. Next will be Nidorino, and finally I will use Cover Tops. Alright, so let's you see how this all fades out. Here Peter comes Seal as my lead, and Powell he's going to lead with a Butterfree, the the which is Bug Flying. Alright, so let's see what the first Netronome's going to give me. Butterfree's going to lead with a Psychic, that's going to do... That's going to 
kind of gel yeah. right there, about one tenth of my health, plus love my special, so my special attack and special defense got lowered. I'm going to go for the stomp there, which did about the same amount that Butterfree did to me. So here we go, round two. Butterfree will probably go for yet another psychic there, dealing another tenth to my... Ouch. I did a little bit more than last time because of the special drop that I got. Got another special drop there. I'm going for the hypnosis. Hopefully this hits. Yes, it does. So Butterfree goes to sleep, which is going to bring me. Uh, well, it's going to put me at the advantage here. So will Butterfree wake up? Damn it, dead. First turn, wake up. That's not fair. Oh, sweet. All right. So I score the sword dance, raising my attack by two stages there. So that's double my attack. All right. So next, what have we got? Butterfree's going. For the psychic, What's actually, that? that might take out my seal. Oh, at least with 30 HP, that took it quite badly. So, seal goes for the metronome, it's gonna fly in the air, so we're gonna go for a fly next turn. So, after a sword dance, this is gonna hit quite hardly. Or quite hard. Butterfree goes for the supersonic and sets seals in the air, that's gonna miss. Seal's gonna go for the fly, and like I said, thanks to that sword dance, that's gonna be a KO on Butterfree, so that worked out quite nicely. Alright, so bug, or bug Boy's next Pokemon will be a Caterpie. So Caterpie is going to have String Shot and Tackle off the top of my head. Alright, so Caterpie goes first, goes for the Tackle, and that nearly takes Seal out, bringing it down to 8, 8 HP. I go for the Guillotine, and I miss because I'm slower. Oh, bugger. If Seal wasn't so slow and that hit, that would have been fantastic. Caterpie goes for the String Shot. That's not going to phase me too much because Seal is already slower. I go for the Acid. So I might have a chance of lowering its defense. It is super effective and deals half damage there to Caterpie. Poison is also physical in this gen, so thanks to Sword Dance, they've got a power up. Caterpie goes for the Tackle and this is going to take my Seal out, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a hit. But Seal, Seal still did a really good job there. Alright, so up next is going to be my Nidorino. Oh, Nidorino. So hopefully I can split the rest of his team with this guy. This is a fight between two different so Caterpie will probably go for the String Shot. No, I go first with the Smoke Screen. So that's going to lower Caterpie's accuracy by negative one, so that puts me at advantage as well. Caterpie's strength shot is going to miss there thanks to smoke screen. So thank you for missing there, I don't lose my speed. Nidorino goes for the meditate, raising my attack by plus one, so all my physical moves are going to hit a little bit harder. Caterpie goes for the tackle, that does 10, 20 damage there, so... I uh, don't know how many kit KOs it's going to be, but it's going to die before it gets there. Um, go for the barrier, raising my defense by plus two. Caterpie what goes for the tackle there. Did less than last time. Did about six damage thanks to barrier. Alright, so this time my Nidorino is going for the stun spore. So if this hits, Caterpie is going for the paralysis, which it does. So it's Parahax for the win there. Tackle yet again, it misses. That's a so Caterpie isn't exactly getting the best luck here with Smoke Screen and Stun Spore hitting. I go for the Sable and String Shot gets the Sable. Oh what? First turn undisabled? Really? Tackle missed? Right, so Nidorino goes for the Minimize, raising my evasiveness by plus one stage, which is zero point something. Uh, 1. Some, uh, 1. 3, I 1.3, I think, of evasion, I think. Alright, so Caterpie probably won't hit any moves on me now. I go for the Rock Throw, and I got an attack boost from Meditate, so Rock Throw got a boost there and took Caterpie out, and I don't think the attack boost actually mattered. So Bug Boy's down to his last Pokemon and Glitch Screen for the win. His last Pokemon is Metapod, so Metapod has. Harden, mostly uses Harden, I think it's got String Shot and Tackle, methinks, not quite sure. Alright, so I go for Aurora Beam, which is special. That's going to deal some nice damage to Metapods. 
given that Aurora Beam doesn't exactly have the best base palette, was still some nice damage. Metapod went for the hard and raising its defense by plus one. I'm going to take in Sunlight, so my next turn I'm going to be using Solar Beam. So Metapod goes for its second hardened, so that's double its defense. Nita Reno is going to launch a Solar Beam, so this should do some nice damage. Not. Put it down to half health. Metapod's third defense, so that's uh, 2.5 defense, so mine blanked. Right, Net Nita Reno is going for the Mega Drain. Sucked a little bit of health there from Metapod. Wasn't very effective, however. That's uh, Metapod's fourth defense boost. I'm out of PP on this first metronome move. Thank God for having metronome all four moves. Nita Reno goes for the Light Screen, which raises my special. Nita, uh, Metapod goes for its fifth defense boost. Fireworks are flying in this battle. So it looks like Metapod's not going to attack. I go for the Karate Chop. What the? That's a crit! The weak spot. I think Karate Chop's always a crit in first gen. I Bill think, off the top of my face. head. That was uh, Metapod's this last um, defense boost there, so it's max defense. I go for the Crab Hammer, which is Crab. special. Ouch, it's that's always a crit as well, taking Metapod and out. And that is round one to us. So GG Bug Boy. So Nita Reno doing work. And Seal did a good job as well there with a nice sword dance and fly. But yeah, unfortunately it couldn't stick around for much very long. So let's continue on to our round two, which is up against um, Trainer Lad. So this team is quite annoying. Most of these Pokemon have Mostly moves like Mega Drain, Absorb, and Leech Life. So he's got Bulbasaur, Ekans, Zubat, Oddish, Paris, and Gloom. So for this one, I'm going to go for Nidorino, followed by Parasect, and all my other Pokemon are either weak against Mega Drain or Leech Life. Um, I'm going to go for Hypno because. Yeah, because I'm going to go for him. Alright, so here goes my Bell lead from Nita Reno. Well, Lad is going to lead with a Bulbasaur. So that's a good matchup on my part. So here we go. Let's see what Metronome gives me on the first turn. I get the Barrage. Here's the first move. Two. And so it's going to hit twice. Doing... Yeah, I did 42 damage there, so that's alright. Bulbasaur goes for the Mega Drain, that's not going to be very effective, however that was a damn crit, still didn't do very much. Bulbasaur didn't exactly get much health back either. So I go for the Thunder, hopefully this hits. Boom, it does! Didn't, doesn't do very much though. Bulbasaur goes yet for another Mega Drain. Not very effective and sucks a little bit of health out of me. So third round, what are we going to get? We're getting a Fire Punch. Nice. That should be... No, it comes very close to a KO. Bulbasaur goes for yet another Mega Drain. If it wasn't going for the Mega Drains, I think it would be dead. So it sucks a little bit of health bring it back into the orange. This should kill it if I get an attacking move. It not, then it's going to live another... Wow, I've got Hyper Fang. That should be dead. Bye. It was nice knowing you, Bulbasaur. So Hyper Fang takes out Bulbasaur. So up next on Lad's side, we're going to have Ekans. So it's Poison versus Poison. Right. Ekans will probably go for the Mega Drain, I think. I get the Spike Cannon. Two, three... Okay, I'm going to hit three times. And it's a crit as well, doing some nice damage there. Bring it down to 70. Nearly three quarter damage there. Ekans go for the Mega Drain. Doesn't do much damage. Gets five health back. If I get another attack, Ekans should go down. Oh, no. Are you serious? It's repeated last episode. I get explosion. Oh, my God. I went, what the fuck? Boom. At least it wasn't crucial like the last episode. Alright. Goddamn explosion and self-destruct. I must be attracted to those moves. 
Right, I'm going to send out Parasect. And Lad's final Pokemon is Zubat. Right, so hopefully no more explosions, no more self-destructs. We're just going to go for the victory here. Zubat goes for the Leech Life. That is unfortunately super effective. Doesn't do that much to Parasect. I get the conversion, which is going to change my type to Poison Flying, I think. I think, I think. Don't take my word on it. Um, Zubat goes for the Leech Life yet again. That shouldn't be very effective now. It's a crit as well. Oh well. Didn't do that much. Oh, lovely. Focus Energy is going to make up for the explosion I got. So most of my hits now will be crits. Which is going to be nice. Zubat goes for yet another Leech Life. That's going to be neutral damage. Parasect's just shrugging that off now. And I get the submission. What the? Bang! What the so that may not have been effective, but it still was a crit. I do take recall damage, however. One, not very much. Right, so what's next? Another Leech Life from Zubat. Thank you, Conversion, for tank changing my type, because it's not doing that much now. So I get the Nightshade, which is going to be dealing 100 damage. Nightshade works off your level. Brett brings Zubat down to 73. It's got a quarter left on its health. So hopefully this attack's going to take down that Zubat. Zubat goes for probably its final Leech Life. Dealing yet little damage to Parasect. And I get the Karate Chop. So that's going to be crit regardless of focus energy. And that takes Zubat out. So that's Trina 2 down. So we're flying through Jim Winter Castle this time quite easily. But just disregard that explosion I got in Nidorino. Oh, can't believe that. Oh, first self-destruct on Licky Tongue on Brock and I get explosion on Lad. Like I said, that explosion wasn't as crucial as the self-destruct last episode. Right, so that brings us to Trainer 3, which is a male junior. So he's got a pretty interesting team here with Farfetch, Diglett, Pidgey, Dugtrio, uh, Sandshrew and Geodude. So he's got four ground types, one rock type, and two flying types. Uh, sorry, two normal flying types. So I'm going to go for Seal, Nidorino, and Kabu Tops. Right, so here comes my the lead of Seal, right after and Male Junior is going to lead with his Pidgey. Alright, so what are we going to get the first turn? Pidgey's going to outspeed with Priority Quick Attack here. Here's the first move. So that's going to deal quite minor damage there to Seal. Seal's going to go for the Hypnosis, so that's going to be a nice first turn move. Yes, it hits too. So Pidgey falls asleep, so that was an excellent first turn mission on. Right, so that's putting me at the advantage. Don't wake up, please. Good, stay asleep. Stay asleep the entire battle, please. Oh, you! Wow! Is this game got a major grudge against me? Self destruct! What? Ow! What will the next Pokemon be? I'm gonna cry very soon. That's a oh what? Second what the fuck boom this episode? Right, so that comes Need Arena. I said no more self destruct and explosion. What happens? I go what the fuck boom again? Oh! All right, no more raging. It's gonna be calmness all the way to the end. All right, need a Reno. Please don't go. What the fuck, boom! All right, so first turn I get Bubble, which is fantastic. That's gonna be super effective on Geodo, dealing half damage and a speed drop as well. Geodo goes ex what the fuck, boom as well. It's what the fuck, boom all around. <laughs> So I live with 39 HP, thank God. Alright, so Lad, uh, Male Jin is down to his last Pokemon, which is Sandshrew. Um, I'm not in a very good position here, so hopefully I get like a one hit KO move or something. I get Smoke Screen, that's good. So that lowers Sandshrew's accuracy by negative one. I think Sandshrew may have. Oh god, it's got Earthquake. Please miss. You had to hit, didn't you? Right, um, 
I'm pretty oh, sure Sentry may have a one hit per move. I know his Doug Trio does. We're down to one I hope he doesn't use it. Five. Right, so my last Pokemon is Kabutop. So oh, unfortunately, here I'm going to type this advantage. One and I didn't think this now. was going to happen. The is that uh, self destruct really knocked me out of place. I get the Ice Punch, oh, that's super effective, brings Sandrew down to 22 health and living, unfortunately. Sandrew goes for the Earthquake, oh, that does miss, thank it. god. Neither right. Hopefully this is the last move. I get Rap. Yay. Get you Let's win cheaply. There, right, Sandrew it. lives with 5 health there. It is going to die next turn thanks to Rap because it can't switch out, so it's GG thanks to Rap. Oh my god, that was a very close match. So long, Sancho. God, I hate Male, Jun uh, male Junior. Ugh. I can't believe that this episode we've seen both What the Fuck Booms and an extra one from Geodude. I can't make any more comments about that. That that was unreal. All right, we're up to the final trainer. We're up against Brock. And I don't want to see another self destructor explosion. Right. Hopefully we take this out. So Brock has Onyx, Graveler, Cubone, Volpix, Omanyte, and Kabuto. All right. So I don't know what to expect here. Um. When I did my dummy wrong though, he led with Onyx. Onyx does have Wrap and Earthquake, which is going to do some nasty damage to two of my pokes. Uh, Parasect at a major disadvantage here. Couple tops also at a disadvantage here. So I'm going to lead with Seal, Slowbro, and my Hypno. And let's pray for the best here. Alright, so the final battle, we're leading with Seal on my side, and on Brock's side, we're going to lead with a Kabuto. So Kabuto is from my memory that has... sorry, can't talk at the moment, because I'm all fizzled at the moment. Um, it's got Slash and Blizzard on top of my head. So... I should be able to live at least... oh, nice, I get Submission on the first go. Submission is going to deal nearly half damage there to Kabuto. I get a little bit of recoil damage there from it. Kabuto goes for a slash. Oh, that did about a quarter of my health there, so it's about a four hit KO there for Kabuto. And given, depending on what I get, oh nice, I get minimize. Right, so that raises my accuracy by plus one. Kabuto goes for the slash, but he's miss, and it does. Nice. Right. One is an idiot. So let's go seal. Let's go for a slam. That's not going to do an awful lot. Cup to go yet goes what for yet that? another slash that oh, yet misses yet it. again. The right. Continues. We're doing really well. Dizzy punch. What That's hit? not very effective. I was hoping for the confusion that? there, but unfortunately I didn't get it. Slash hits this time, deals some nice damage there to Seal, so next hit from Kabuto is going to take Seal out. Hopefully we get a nice decent move here. We get Wing Attack, that's not what I wanted. So that's going to do bugger all damage to Kabuto. Kabuto goes for the Slash, that misses, thank you! Felicimo there! Alright, take that Kabuto out Seal. Seal goes for the Smog. That's not going to deal very much damage to Kabuto. Please miss. Please miss. Yes. Yes, it's missing. This is working perfectly. My strategy is working flawlessly. I go for the metronome and I use D. Yes, I couldn't have asked for a better move. Kabuto goes for the slash. That's going to miss. Sets them on the ground. Another miss, says the commentator. Right. Take it out, Seal. Go for the win! Yes, so there Super goes Brock's first Pokemon. Alright, what's Brock's what next Pokemon going to be? His next Pokemon is going to be... Oh great, he's Onyx. Alright, shit just got real. Alright, Seal. Uh, I'm going to get out sped. That's not good. Onyx goes for the Earthquake and takes my seal out. That's alright, seal. You did a good job. 
All right. Up next, I am gonna bring out. I'm gonna bring out Hypno. So the only thing I'm really fearing from Onyx really is he's bind. So when that happens, I might be doing a big switch stalling. All right. So what's gonna go down? I'm gonna use Bubble Beam. Good going, Hypno. I knew you could do it. Take it down. Yes, you did it, Hypno. Ah, oh, Hypno, you rock. Yes, I might have a chance of winning this. Come on, Hypno. Sweep his team. So he rocks. My final Pokemon is Graveler. So if we get another Bubble Beam or another good move like that, that'd be awesome. All right, Hypno, show us your stuff. Teleport. Teleport? Really? You do that after an awesome bubble bean? You let me down, Hypno. So Graveler's going for the dig here. Burrow's on the ground. I actually wouldn't mind a status move at this point in time. Hypno goes for the Mimic and it fails because Graveler's on the ground. Still a really nice learning dig. Graveler goes for the dig that did about a quarter damage there to Hypno. The intense battle continues! Alright, so, come on Hypno, good move, good stun sport. If that hits, that's going to be fantastic. And it misses. That's... Come on Hypno, come on Hypno. You did well last, when you took down Onyx. Please do that again. That would be awesome if you did. Status move, status move. Pedal... That's fantastic, but you used it at the wrong time. So the attack missed, it was, uh, hopefully it's still going. Graveler goes for dig yet again, taking Hypno down to a quarter health. Please! Yes, still using Pedal Dance. Yes! It's thrashing, so here comes Pedal Dance, and it will land this time. And that's going to hit quite hard. And it takes Graveler down! Oh my god, I won! Yes! I'm so happy! I won with Metronome! I actually didn't think that was going to happen. So episode 2, we finally took down Brock. That makes up for last episode's shocking self-destruct incident. So Pewter City Gym cleared. Alrighty, so... That's the end of this episode, so next episode we'll take on Cerulean City Gym Misty with the same, exact same team that I took on with this episode. So we'll be seeing Slowbro, we'll be seeing Cobbletops, uh, we'll be seeing Parasect, we'll be seeing, who haven't I said, Seal, Nidorino, I think there's someone else I've missed but I'm blanking at the moment. And Hypno, how could I forget Hypno? Anyways, we're seeing those six next those same six Pokemon in the next episode. So until then, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!